all right you guys welcome to a whole nother video this is gonna be the worst of the worst and um pretty much i just bought it because it was cheap i know i said i wasn't gonna buy another warrior i ended up buying another warrior you guys let me tell you though i basically got it for free and um I have a bunch of the parts that this quad needs just laying around and that's the only reason that I bought it. And I'm pretty sure I could still make money off of it. So that that's the best part right there. So this is a Yamaha Warrior 350. Again, I said I wasn't going to buy these but I got it so cheap that there's a ton of room to make money in this thing. So let's see. This is, uh, I'm not sure what year it is. Judging by the dash, it might be an older one not too sure um i actually didn't even really look at the actual vin to make sure which i probably should have but the quad is missing a ton of stuff again i said it was missing a ton of stuff and i got it cheap and this is the reason i got it super cheap because it's pretty much missing a bunch of stuff oh, wow i definitely have to wash it uh so first it's missing the stator and the cover for the stator i have that it's missing the cylinder and the head i have that piston is fried i have a new piston from the last warrior that i got um what else is missing the gas tank and the seat which i ended up finding a gas tank and a seat um the seat was 40 bucks i know it's in rough shape i'm gonna probably reupholster it if not i don't even care i might still make money like that so we'll just sell it as is the gas tank with the gas cap and the petcock i got it for 15 bucks smoking deal already um but i mean everything's there that i needed to be there that i didn't want to have to track down so the levers the dash um, the wiring harness, the bottom engine, and I looked at the crank. That was the first thing I did because you know, you guys know we have a bad crank. Um, so I got a new crank, and um, well, it, it has a good crank. I mean, and the other crank that I have is bad, so that was my biggest worry. Um, and that's the only reason I pretty much didn't end up getting it because judging on the crank. Um, so yeah, we're missing the the battery, the front plastics. I have those. I have the blue plastics that I, I was gonna. I posted up for sale. Nobody's picked them up. We're gonna throw them on this bad boy. Um, oh yeah, this was the only thing that I was missing for my blue plastics. I bought it at the junkyard. I got this stuff at the junkyard. Um, it was 15 bucks, which the gas tank ended up coming with the black one. Screwed up on that, so I lost 15 dollars. But no big deal. Um, it's missing a battery i have a spare battery um it's missing the headlights i don't really care about headlights headlights you can find universal ones for like 20 bucks ebay all day every day that's no big deal to me um it has a front bumper which i'm gonna steal i'm gonna keep that and i'm just gonna sell it with no bumper uh the also it has like a nice ass under shield i'm gonna take that off and keep that um tires are trash but that i'm selling it as is i'm just gonna air them up make sure they don't leak uh the cdi is missing i have a cdi spare one um what else i think that was it the light i have a spare light so let's go over here this is um the parts that i had just laying around also it's missing the carburetor i have one the only thing so far that i don't have is a tensioner for the timing the little gold piece that holds on to the the carburetor I actually might have one of those I'm not sure I might might have one I need to look um, so the head this is the old crusty head as you guys remember this is the old crusty cylinder I'm gonna see if I can revive these man if not I will put it together and sell it as is uh, the only other thing I'm missing so so the the little pin for the the carb that holds the throttle cable the tensioner head bolts and um i think that's it the header pipe i was missing i found that also at the local junkyard i think it was like 40 bucks so already i'm into it like about a hundred dollars that's it um 
had an air box if you guys remember from the last warrior I'll make this work I have the air cage which I was gonna return good thing I didn't return so and then I have oil here's the spare parts that go to this uh, I had a top end here's the new stator with a um, new gasket the new I have a new gasket kit here's the stator cover um, I think that is all I'm missing at this point uh, I still Today I'm pretty much going through it and I'm going to figure out what else I do need. So let's go ahead. Oh, and now uh, CDI. I have had the CDI too. So pretty much that's it, you guys. Um, so I'm going to rinse everything off because it smells really bad. I think like dogs peed on it or something. I have no idea. It smells bad. And I'm going to rinse out the inside of the engine somehow. Uh, I might take it out. I don't know. I might have to take it out to put it together anyways. Uh, if you guys remember last time, I had a huge problem putting in the head bolts on this thing. So, probably have to do that. But, yeah, I'm going to wash it real quick. And then we'll be back and we'll start going over uh, the cylinder. If it's going to fit with the piston. And see what else we have that we need to buy. Or what we have and what we, what we don't have and what we need to buy. Alright, so I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I got a quick update here. I uh, ended up cleaning this up as best as I could. As you guys could tell, I mean, it does look 10 times different. I did notice um, on this side, I don't think you can tell, but the, the valve is pretty crusty looking, so I'm probably going to have to take them out. I believe it was leaking through this one, so I might have to um, lap it. Uh, but the head is pretty damn rough, you guys. I feel like the water was just eating away everything while it was just sitting in there. Um, onto the cylinder here. The cylinder is kind of okay. I am going to hone it, though, and it should look good. I put the piston um, ring in there to just try and see, you know, like how it was going to look. And um, it looks like it's still, it's basically over, it overlaps on the edge of the pistons. There's one that goes on top of the other one when I put it in there. So that tells me that it still has like a good amount of, you know, uh, corrosion or whatever you want to call it on there. So I'm going to hone it and then we're going to take a final end gap um, reading and see how far it is. I think it's supposed to be 0 0.20 to 0.40 and it's in spec. Um, just the, oh, just the head though, it kind of worries me. Um, as you guys can see, there might be like some leakage like right there. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Um, I mean, maybe I could fix it a little bit, but it is definitely, definitely worn. Um, I'm hoping maybe we could get away with it. So at least this piece, it goes inside. So the main thing we have to worry about is this. Because now that I think about it, I think that the other head on the other warrior, the one that, the teal and red one, it had something like this too, and it was worrying me as well, but it ran fine. Um, so I guess that leaves me not to worry about anything. But let's just see if we can make it a little bit better right off the bat here. So I got my sanding block here. So this is what I do with all the heads. I got this foam piece um, from where I work. It was like for, you know, to cover and protect something so it wouldn't move around in the box. And I have a couple of them that I took and pretty much this is what I do. So it's a nice even surface that it's sanding over. And then um, pretty much that I at least know, you know, it's going to be all evenly sanded down. And you can, after doing this for a little bit, you can pretty much check to see if there's still high spots or if there's any low spots like right there it's a little nicked up sorry you guys i have a runny nose so i have the handkerchief the bandana there but i'll do this a little bit and it should be all right yeah i mean see now now it doesn't look that bad but this i mean you guys this is going to be hard for me to fix in here the valves are pretty shot up 
Um, I might just check to see how much new new valves would be, but then it's like, if I, I can't put new valves on a old crusty head, you know? I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out. But I'm going to hone that. But I just wanted you guys to see the before and after. I cleaned everything. Come on, focus. I just wanted you guys to see the, the before and after, how I showed you guys how bad they were. I mean, this is still a little crusty too. But, I mean, compared to how it was before, you guys, it was like, there was chunks in there and everything, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to hone it, and then hopefully we can knock down a lot of this. I did scrape it and sand it a little bit already, but obviously I'm going to hone it and make it look good for the new piston. So, let's do that, and then I'll get back to you guys. Still using the Harbor Freight one for that I bought for 30 bucks, and it's been working awesome. All I do is put, like any type of oil really that I have laying around just to lube it all up so if you guys could tell it's a little bit better I haven't even cleaned it so I'm gonna clean it right now so you guys can see the difference hopefully there is a huge difference and there's not like chunks still there if there is I might just keep going at it oh you guys it's like 10 times better I think it's still rough Yeah, it's pretty rough, but I think we're going to keep going at it, you guys. As you can see, as you guys can see there, it does have like a different texture here because it's still pretty rough as the back side, you could see that it's just, you know, smooth. So we're going to keep going over it. The cross hatching looks great, but I mean, that spot is pretty... I got the uh, the cylinder honed. Um, that's all good. I found an old uh, piston that seems to work, look just fine though. Uh, I measured the ring gap and the ring gap is still in spec. It's a little bit right under but we're going to try it out. Um, sanded this down. This looks a little bit better. Uh, when I sell them, obviously I'm not going to be like, you know, you get what you pay for. I'm going to sell it cheap. I'm not going to ask for a whole lot of money. You know, you get what you pay for. It's either running or running rough. Might need a top end rebuild if for whatever reason this um, piston doesn't do just justice and then um, the compression is not all there. But also we have the quad um, mainly a couple things. The front bumper is off. The undershield in the back is off. I'm keeping those two. Um, the white plastic is off. It's over here. I'm going to post those two for sale probably separate. Um... The piston is off, and then uh, I found the other tensioner we were missing. I just need the tensioner uh, guide, or what is it, the tensioner? Yeah, the chain, the timing, ten timing chain tensioner, and then that throttle uh, cable end guide. And I think that's it, so I'm ready to start putting stuff together. Oh, also I need to order the head bolts, so that's what I'm going to order. So I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Um, tune in for the next couple of videos for the build. Definitely hit that notification uh, bell so you guys can see everything. Uh, don't forget you know, to like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Check out all my videos. Great videos. I buy cheap stuff and uh, basically make it running and restore it. Look, looking a little bit, you know, as good as I can get it. But it's usually always good because I buy it cheap and it make it look ten times better. And it gets uh, resold or either we use it here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.